Yo, storytelling run here. Um, there's construction going on in my sidewalks over there, but whatever. Worst time to talk, but I'm going to do it anyway because I just came up with this um, thought pattern. Players cheating. Players cheating. What do you do? Some guys, and it's always a guy, you know, and some, you know, rolling dice and um, taking the wrong, you know, somehow flubbing the numbers or whatever, or or their, their sheet, they're um, maybe changing some stuff on the sheet or their stats or something. Whatever. I don't know. It could be any, any number of things. Okay, so how do you address that in a group? I think the best thing to do is not address the person specifically first. That, that can come later on. The first thing to do, I think, is to have a little speech that you do for all players. And that could be a very casual thing that you just, oh, I saw this on a YouTube video like mine. Yeah, I saw this and I just want to tell everybody. I just want to talk about this or, or just, you know, let everybody know. I think it's probably something you should do in session zero anyway, especially with new players, is um, talk to them about, you know, this, especially if it's young. I, I feel like, and I'm being stereotypical here, but I feel like younger, younger people tend to, especially dudes, I'm being sexist, I don't know. Um, tend to like to, I wouldn't say cheat, but they just kind of push and, I, and push it a little and just kind of want more of something. You know, they want to push the winning thing, the objective to win. So my my advice is when you talk to the players at the beginning, especially if you think they're relatively new or really anxious or whatever, is tell them, and this is even in sports and anything, um, tell them, like, I want you all to have a, lo have a lot of fun and I want you to enjoy playing Dungeons and Dragons and winning is not the objective you know having fun and playing it the best you can for yourself is is the, the main objective but the way that you do that is that you have weaknesses and strengths you have successes and failures in your dice rolls they should be about equal and your character should have some weaknesses and strengths and that that's what will make this game way more fun than if you're obsessing over always winning always getting that best thing because if you're obsessed with always winning or getting the best you're never going to have fun you're going to be obsessed with that and you're going to have to compromise and hide things from other players and you're going to be in this constant swirl spider web of, of, of keeping that obsession to win and it's not going to be fun at all for you it, it, the, the, the fun is just allowing things to happen and laughing your characters might die or, you know, or you guys can discuss whether you're going to have permadeath, you know, permanent death, or just have, you can die, you can get resurrected, maybe you lose some XP or, you know, lose some stuff, but you'll get resurrected or, or you, you know, you can keep, if you, if, if we all agree, we get to keep our characters, but they just, you know, if you die, you just get maybe like a punishment or, or a death point where you, you know, how many death points you get at the end of the campaign or whatever. Have that discussion with, with the players and players have that discussion with DMs at the beginning so you all know do we want this grim hardcore campaign or do you guys want to have fun and you know high fantasy and all kinds of magic and just play and then if you die you, you know you can do it'll you'll you get a resurrect at some point just cost you you know it's fun um so so always have that discussion with them always say look don't get obsessed with winning or always getting being the best because if because then that, that's all you're going to think about and you're never going to have true fun true fun is ups and downs and hilarity ensues uh, in your game so please dms when you if you feel like something's going on or you just see the group and maybe you know you need to have that discussion have that discussion let them know that winning is not the objective that that will be that, that gets too obsessive P please have successes and failures have strengths and weaknesses so you you're, you're just and, in, and relax and let your character uh go through this journey of good or bad for good or bad don't get obsessed with winning or, or accomplishing everything because it's, it'll be an obsession and it won't be a joy. Okay. So, and have that discussion about death. What does it actually mean in, the, in your, in this campaign? And, um, you know, so I, to me, like the one of the things to the first solutions for a really, really grim campaign is that you make like three or four, three characters, you know, keep them simple and you make them that way. If a character dies, then, you know, Oh, I'm going to try this next character. You know, you have it in, your, in the back of your mind, the players do. So you can do something like that too, where they'll have like three or four characters, and, and, and then you can have the other one pop up if if a character does die. You know that'd be kind of fun. But um, I do realize as a DM, I don't really want to kill characters and permanent permanent death type. So um, I always give them a solution to to revive their character if they, if they really want to, if that's the way the campaign is. Um, 
you know, it's because it is about just having fun. I know that they get kind of connected with the character after a while. So, but as a DM member, the, the point is to have fun. And, and, and again, the best thing for people to teach them is that cheating just kind of leads to an obsession of cheating and winning. And it doesn't ever leads to uh, the relaxing thing of joy. So, so that's my little babble about players cheating and how DMs should handle, could handle it, should handle it. Um, and uh, that's it. That's just a quick little video on, on advice for you guys. And if it doesn't work, don't blame me because I, I don't know. That's all I got.